welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Christine. It's been a hot minute, but today I have a clothing try-on haul. I actually got a lot of new pieces lately. I have some new jeans here from Subi. I have some new boots, some designer things, some new Nike Dunks, and I'm so excited to try on everything and share all the pieces that I got recently. Before we go ahead and jump to the video, part of this video is sponsored by Farfetch, and I am so excited to start working with them. I do have a discount code that I'll go ahead and pop on the screen, but it will give you 10% off of your entire purchase. So I'll go ahead and put all of the details down below as well as the code. Also, make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Also, hit that little notification bell. That lets you know every time I post a new video, you definitely don't want to miss out. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. First, let's go ahead and talk about some of the things that I got from Farfetch. First, I got these boots and these are from the brand called Gia. How cute are these? As soon as I unboxed them, I just fell in love. These are such a good chunky boo. I don't have anything like this in my collection. I just picture myself dressing this up with like a cute dress or mini skirt or something like that. I feel like this would be so fun to style and because these are a flat boot, they are ultra comfortable. I actually had so much fun online shopping at Farfetch and they had such a good selection of items. I also picked up these dunks that I'll show you in a second but I was actually so surprised by how much stuff that they had still in stock. A lot of the times when I go and look for things in my size, especially sneakers. A lot of the times they're sold out. I was super surprised that so much of the stuff that I wanted was available and in my size. Everything was shipped and came to my house super quick, which I love. Farfetch has such a good selection of brands and items on their website, and there's also a lot of pre-owned sneakers. So if you're looking for some like really cool Jordan ones or Dunks, they also have a lot of like pre-loved Chanel and any other designer brands that you're interested in. So I just feel like they have so many great things on their website. I knew another one of the things I wanted to get was Chunky black boots, specifically the Bottega ones, and it just made it so easy for me to find it. There's so many different filters and stuff like that. It was so easy for me to find the brands that I loved, and it was just such an enjoyable shopping experience, and it was just even a bigger plus that all the items arrived so quickly to my house. Again, I do have a discount code that I'll go ahead and pop on the screen. I'll leave all the details down below, but you definitely want to make use of that, especially if there's something that you've been eyeing, something that is a little bit more expensive. It's a great time to make use of that code. Anyways, wanted to say a big thank you to Farfetch for sponsoring part of this video, but let's go ahead and dive into the try-on part. Okay, first of all, how cute is this outfit? I feel like a real trendy girl, and I've been wearing this polo button-up for the last, like, two weeks since I got it, and I think all the tones in here tie in really nicely. I think the fact that these are a white boot makes them so striking, and I love that they're chunky because it helps to balance out any of the proportions. If I wanted to wear a really baggy jacket or overcoat or oversized blazer, the the chunkiness of the boots really helps to balance the outfit out really nicely. I feel like chunky boots that allow your knees and legs to show a little bit, I feel like there's such a vibe and especially now that it's warming up here in LA and I just think this outfit is so stinking cute. All the colors tie in together really nicely. I just love that they're comfortable too because nowadays if it's not comfortable, I'm not going to wear it. <laughs> okay, these are probably the highlight of my entire haul. I've never seen such beautiful boots in my life. I think that these are such... A cute, chunky little boot, but the height is just perfect because I could style it with so many different things. I've seen girls style it with like tights or long pants in the winter, but especially for like the spring and summer seasons, I think little dresses and skirts look so stinking cute with these boots. These are the Bottega boots and I have seen these all over Pinterest and my Instagram and I'm just so excited to style these. These are so comfortable. They're like more comfortable than my other white boots and I just love that these make such a statement. I don't have anything like these in my closet and I'm so excited to style these. So they feel very luxe and high end. They are expensive but I personally would splurge on them because I just think that they're such a beautiful, beautiful shoe and like it brings any outfit to the next level. So I styled it with this baggy denim jacket that I thrifted, a little ribbed dress that I actually have not worn in a long time. I don't even remember the last time I've worn a dress, but I just feel like the proportions of this outfit plays really nicely together. Then this is just another outfit that you could wear with it. This time I have a mini skirt and a black tank. This mini skirt is actually from Aritzia and then I also have a blazer from Aritzia. This color really, really pops and I feel like the whole outfit together looks very, very refined. I could see myself wearing this with like a low bun, 
a little black bag and it would be so chic. Next thing I picked up are these Nike Dunks. Actually, this whole outfit is new things that I picked up this month, but these are Nike Dunks that I picked up from Farfetch and I was so surprised to find these in my size because when they came out, I was obsessed with them. Of course, I couldn't get it when they dropped, but I just think that these are such a good looking shoe. The colorway is so cool and wearable. I actually don't have a pair of Dunks in my collection, so I was super excited to find these. These are actually the high Dunks and it's kind of like a deep red burgundy color. I just think that these are super cool. I currently have them unlaced just because I don't like to have to relace and unlace my shoes every time I take them on and off. So I just like to wear them kind of loose like this and I usually pair them with baggy pants like this anyway. So I think that this whole outfit is super cool, cozy, tomboyish, which I love and especially for more like laid back days when I don't want to look like I'm trying too hard but still be comfortable. This is like the perfect outfit. It's very boy inspired which is a look that I've been really enjoying lately and these shoes are actually pretty comfortable as well which I really really like. Last thing that I picked up from Farfetch was this cute little Jacquemus bag. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. Jacquemus? I don't know. I don't know. This is the little purse that I picked up. It is so stinking cute. I've actually seen this all over Instagram and I feel like this bag is such a vibe. When I first got it, Brandon was like, what can you possibly fit in there? And I was like, I don't know, my wallet and probably a couple of Cheetos, <laughs> maybe a chapstick. It's just so cute. It's obviously not functional or practical at all, but it's a little vibe. I also don't have a brown bag, so I feel like this was kind of a fun piece to add to my closet. And especially now that spring is around the corner, I'm gonna be wearing a lot more like whites, light colors. So I think this brown bag will go perfectly. For the outfit, I just went with something super easy. I've worn all of this before. This is the same knit dress from earlier and then the same Nike Dunks. As you can see, I wear them unlaced just like that. And I feel like it still looks super cute. All the colors really work together. It looks really laid back and casual. I could wear this to a little bit of a dressier event as well. So I just think it's super cute and casual. And yeah, that is all the things that I got from Farfetch. And next I have a couple of thrifted items. This is actually a pair of pants that I picked up from the Pasadena Rose Bowl. I did film a vlog when I went to the Rose Bowl flea market. That is like one of the biggest flea markets I've ever been to. But this is one of the things that I picked up from that flea market. These are just super baggy, oversized Carhartt pants and I feel like these types of pants are so in right now especially all the baggy pants that I've seen at flea markets recently have been Carhartt pants so these are just really great because they're super high quality super thickums and these ones actually are a little bit baggy on me but actually don't mind it's a little loose around my waist and they're super super long so I have them cuffed right now but maybe I'll cut them or get them hemmed I haven't decided yet but I feel like these are really cool with chunky sneakers I even feel like with boots or docks, you could wear it with it. And it's kind of like a wash black color. There's a little bit of distressing around the knee. And I'm just so excited to wear these. Brand and I have a lot of thrifted Carhartt pants that him and I like interchangeably wear just because they can fit both of us. And then another pair that I picked up is this brown pair. These are also like kind of a cool brown color. Brown monochrome outfits has been so in. So I'm really excited to style this with like an all brown outfit. These are 32 and those ones I believe are 30. So these aren't quite quite as long as the last ones. Do like the color of these and they're in really good condition, like there's no stains or anything like that. So I'm really excited to style those. I believe these ones I got for like 30 dollars and those black ones I got for like 50. And then I got a couple of graphic tees. I actually showed this in my last vlog when my sister came to visit. So I did get this quite like a few weeks ago. It's just like an oversized race car tee. I've been into the race car prints just because I have so many Harley Davidson t-shirts and I feel like these race car ones are like super cool. I just have so many like black or dark colored tees. This is kind of a fresh new color. It's super fun for me to style and so I'm super excited to have picked that up and I got so many compliments about that. And then I also picked up this crew neck and this actually says the Olympic Winter Games. That doesn't really mean anything to me but it's just like such a cute oversized crew neck. The color is so stinking adorable. These vintage like sweatshirts are coming back into style and they're so, I mean they never really went out of style but I see more and more people wearing them so I definitely wanted something that had some sort of like logo or graphic on it just because all the ones that I have are just plain so this was a really cozy one and I like the print on it it's super cute and I really like how oversized it is next few things are from a Nene Bang the brand actually gifted me a couple of pieces and I am honored I feel like this is one of the designers that does logos and graphic tees and crew necks really really well so I picked up this graphic crew neck that actually got a lot of questions about when I wore it in my IG stories I just feel like it is 
is very cool. I almost wish that I got it in a little bit more of an oversized fit because this is pretty fitted for me, especially for like a cool graphic crew neck. This would be really fun for me to style and I feel like it looks very, very expensive. It'll be nearly impossible for me to find something with this cool of a graphic at like a flea market. So I'm really glad that I picked this. And then these jeans are actually from Subi. Someone told me that the brand is pronounced Subi, not Kasubi. I actually knew of this information, but I think that Kasubi sounds cooler than Subi. Anyways, it's Subi, so I'm gonna start pronouncing it like that. Fine, fine. These jeans are gifted from Subi. I actually have a pair of jeans from them that I actually cut up myself, and they actually sent me these because they saw that I wore a style very, very similar to this. So this is one of the new arrivals, and it is such a flattering jean. I actually had to size up. Yeah, these are a 26. I used to be a 25 in their jeans, but Got a little chunky during this quarantine, so these do fit me really, really nice. I just think that Subi makes the best jeans ever. They're so flattering and the washes are always so stunning. And then these boots are from Anine Bing. These are a really cool kind of like cowboy boot. They feel and look very, very expensive. And they're actually a patent leather, which I actually don't have in my collection. So cuff the jeans so you could see the boots a little bit better. But yeah, they're just such a cool looking boot. They do have a little like chain wrapped around them. I've always wanted a pair of Anine Bang boots. I feel like that's one of the things that they're known for as well. Yeah, they're really cool and I'm excited to style them. Next, another thing that Subi sent over is a super long coat. I have nothing like this in my collection. This is a very striking piece. When I first got it, Brandon actually immediately tried it on. It fits him, so it is very, very oversized, but I feel like it is such a vibe. So I paired it with my Bottega boots. I wore the jeans in two different ways, just so you could see like two different ways that you could wear it with the boots. I actually think I prefer it worn over the boot a little bit better, just because this kind of gives me like rain boot. It's a rainy day, and I kind of threw these shoes on because it's raining type vibe, and this one looks a little bit more intentional. But I think this outfit is super cool. This is the exact vibe that I was thinking of when I got these boots. It just makes the whole outfit look so cool and expensive it is like the direct opposite of a basic outfit and i just think it looks very very cool i don't even know when i'll be able to wear something like this until it's like winter but i'm definitely gonna try <laughs> next couple of things that subi sent over is another pair of their playback jeans these are probably my favorite style of jean that they carry ever because they are just such a unique pair of jeans they're so baggy but ultra high-waisted and fitted up here but the way that they look down here is just like unparalleled this is the type of fit and style that i'm looking for when i go and thrift jeans but because of my body type i feel like i have a little bit more of an athletic build but a smaller waist so it's super hard for me to find baggy jeans that actually fit my waist really well the subi playbacks just fit me so perfectly it almost feels like they are made for me i have two pairs of blue playbacks that i wear all the time and I'm so excited to have a pair of like dark wash ones. They almost look like a dark dark gray But I feel like these are so versatile. I could style them so many different ways My other two playbacks I have them in a size 25, but these ones are a size 26 the salesperson did say that some of the Different washes do fit a little bit differently. So maybe these ones just fit a little bit smaller than the blue ones do I don't know or I just got a little bit thicker during quarantine and I had to size up, but either way, I'm normally a true 26 and I did get 26 in these and these normally do stretch out like a full size. So I'm excited because these are really tight and I can't wait for them to loosen up. And then this crew neck is also from Subi. It's very oversized and I believe this is a size small. So I love that it comes oversized. It's super cool, but the best part about it is a graphic on the back. So I initially, when I saw them in the store, I was like, oh my God, red, so cute. But then I saw the back and I was like, I'm gonna take that. Okay, last thing that I got from Subi is a little unexpected. I wanted to get these pants because the zip front was just so unique. I don't have anything like that. I was actually a little bit troubled when putting together outfits because I was like, what do I even wear with this? But I feel like with lace up heels, or strappy sandals, these jeans would look super cute with them. So I'm super excited for summertime where I can start wearing shoes like that, especially because the slit in the front, I feel like it'll really highlight any of those details. And you can also zip it down and wear them as just like skinny straight leg jeans if you want, but these are super cool. These are very like fitted pants and these are in a size, I forget what size I have these in. I believe they're in a size 27, but these fit me very, very snugly, could not have gone a size down. And Subi also 
sent me a little like fanny pack situation. This is actually called the cube. I don't really know how I feel about it yet because it really looks like a straight up cube. Like it's just such a cube. I wish it was like a little bit like smaller like that. So I don't know. It's interesting. I don't know how I feel about it just yet, but it is really cool that it's like all black because I feel like it is unisex, something that Brandon can wear as well. And because it is a cube, it actually is a pretty decent size. So I could fit a lot of things in here. It's not quite long enough for me to fit my like iPhone. Could be kind of a vibe. Fanny packs are back in and I've been wearing mine a lot recently. And I also love that the Kasubi Subi logo on it is like so subtle. Okay. Okay, I am hot and sweaty from trying so many things on, but I have two more pairs of shoes. This is a pair of shoes that I picked up recently that I haven't even worn yet. I don't know what I'm waiting for, but these are just a pair of like Converse. These are very cool. I haven't seen any Converse that look like this. I actually picked this up from Sneakers and Stuff on Santa Monica and it's kind of like a cream color. It kind of has like almost a cow design on it. Like it has really cool like patchwork on it that is super unique looking. So I definitely am excited to style this with different outfits because of the material though. It's kind of like a canvas situation. I feel like it will get dirty very, very fast, but I don't know, we'll see. Next pair of shoes that I picked up is the Dr. Martin X Suikoki. Suikok? I don't know how to pronounce it. I think it's Suikoki, but it's a Japanese sandal brand that collabed with Doc Martens, and I think that these are such a cool, chunky sandal. As you can tell, the theme for the season is chunky shoes. These are like the coolest sandals I've ever seen and I think Sui Koki does really cool sandals and their sandals are usually a little bit more pricey so I've been eyeing the brand for a while now and the fact that they collab with Doc Martens just make these so much cooler. I actually wore these on my Instagram and these are kind of heavy but still really comfortable but I love that they make such a statement and because they are so chonky you could wear it with like really oversized things and it helps to balance out the outfit a lot. These also have a lot of padding which make them really really comfortable and I believe they're sold out now but if I can find them anywhere i'll go ahead and link it down below but i definitely will link similar shoes for you guys i'm excited to style these this summer i feel like this is a hot summer shoe i've seen a lot of like the chanel chunky sandals that are so stinking cute but like i don't want to be spending a thousand dollars on sandals so i think that these are a great alternate and i think that they're so cool that it's like such a cool collab. Lastly, before I forget, another thing that I picked up is actually this jewelry case. And this is actually from the container store. This is the coolest jewelry case I've ever seen. This is actually like a stackable situation. So depending on what you need, you can buy different stackable items. So I did get one of everything just because I do have a lot of jewelry. And I feel like this color is just like a really good taupe situation. They have a couple colors on their website. This is what sold me. I saw it on one of my like influencer friends stories and it just seems so unique to me so you have like a little ring compartment and you have stuff for all the bracelets I have my Gucci watch up here I have another separate compartment for my other watches whenever I'm not wearing all my rings I do have them like slotted in here and it's just nice to have everything like so separated okay I'm like sweating let me just make life a little easier okay and then here I don't know if you could see but these are all of my earrings so it's nice that I could have everything separated I have like my really big statement earrings all my different little hoops in here as well and I do have a video all about my everyday jewelry but I obviously have since then updated my collection so if you want to see like an updated video on my jewelry maybe just like a jewelry collection video let me know down below in the comments or thumbs up this video so I know and then underneath I have all of my necklaces so I have some like chains pendants I have a lot of necklaces so it's nice that I have it all in here in an airtight container so it doesn't tarnish as easily and my last compartment is like kind of random stuff a couple watches so this is a super useful jewelry storage situation and I just love that you can buy different pieces like if you have a need for like this type of organization you could just buy like four of them and stack them all on each other so I do love the idea of them and it's like not super expensive and it's from the container store and they have sales all the time so i'll go ahead and link this down below as well that brings us to the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed i love doing hauls like this and i haven't been buying a whole lot of things recently so it is a smaller haul but from time to time i do like to do these so thumbs up this video if you like the try on hauls maybe every season i'll try to do one but that is all for today's video i'll be sure to style some of these pieces in an upcoming lookbook so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out but thanks so much for watching and i We'll see you all next time. Bye.